good day SketchUp for Schools friends. I need you to type SketchUp for Schools. When you do, press enter and make sure you scroll down and find the G Suite Marketplace one. When it appears, click launch so you can get in. Let's delete our friend on the screen. Let's click untitled and this is going to be wall skills. I'm going to try and make this super fast, but I'm also going to teach you some amazing things that you can use in many other projects. Start by clicking the rectangle, clicking and releasing, clicking and making a quite long wall. Now you want it reasonable, so mine's going to be 40 feet, but you want a wall that's pretty long. And then push-pull that wall to lift it up. Remember, we always click and release, so my finger's off the mouse button. And then I got my wall. We are going to add at least four windows to our wall. And when you click and let go, note you can make cool golden sections. You can make squares. But what we need to do is just make walls where we're going to fit at least three or four of these. So pick a size that's cool to you and then continue. So there's my golden section. When you're done with that, click the select tool. Double click so that you've got the middle with the dots and the blue uh, selected and choose the move and then move and then this is super huge click on the end point and then notice down on the bottom so it's moving but down on the bottom you can hit control to copy we want to copy this and we want to set it out here to the left so just get rid of it for a minute then switch back to your select tool double click again on that rectangle so you've got both pieces select move again Click that far corner because we're going to build this window over here. Click this. Notice it's not in copy mode until you press the control key. So now you're in copy mode. I'm just moving across and notice it stays on the green axis. And then this is where it's crazy. I'm going to click. I'm going to press the divided by key on the keyboard and I'm going to put the number three. And when I press enter, it automatically places the other rectangles in between. Now I knew I had room for three. If you don't have room for three, you can do control Z. You can push pull your wall out further so that you have all those. It may take you more than one attempt to make that happen, but just try and try again. I will show you the process real quick and I'll even do it with a circle. I'm just gonna go below these. I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm going to switch to my select tool. I'm going to double click so I've got the outside lines and the middle. I'm going to hit move and move. This is kind of interesting. I'm going to hover on the edge and then snap to the middle. It's not in copy mode until I tap control. I'm going to move straight across. I click where I want to put the other. I hit divided by. This time I'm going to hit five and when I press enter, it divides my circles five across. That's just an extra attempt to show you. You don't need to do that. Uh, when you do have your rectangles evenly divided, I want you to click push pull, click on the center of the first rectangle. And remember, all we do is take the red point. See how I'm moving all crazy wackadoodle because I clicked and let go, and I'm just touching the end point. I do that same thing again for the other side. And this time I'm gonna orbit a little bit so I can see from above. And that way it's easier when I'm in push-pull mode to push across and touch even just the back edge to push those out. I think it's easier to go to the endpoints and snap them like that. Let's hit save because we don't want to lose this. We already named it, which is awesome. When it says saves, it looks like that. Let's take our select tool and let's grab our little window. I didn't tell you that this was going to be the window. But I'm telling you now, right click on it and make it a component and we're going to call it win and we're not going to glue it anywhere. I'm going to orbit to the back because I want to put my windows in the back of this and I'm going to do the move command again. I'm going to grab a smart location. I'm going to grab this corner because it's going to connect to that corner. So I just grab and snap while it's still in move. I'm going to click it again from that same corner. This time I'm going to tap control and I'm going to move to the next spot. I'm going to click it again 
tap control and move it to the next spot and I'm gonna click it one more time note you have to click the corner and then move to place it I'm gonna orbit so I can see the other side and then let me show you why components are amazing I'm gonna click the select tool and I'm gonna double click to go in the first component notice your screen changes color as you enter component mode I'm gonna quickly find the offset tool and I'm gonna give my little window I'm clicking on the middle of my window a offset this is gonna be the frame for the window so I click and release and I make it to a size that I think is pretty nifty for my window I'm gonna switch to push pull and I am going to push pull the outside of my window so that's my frame I'm gonna just pull it a little ways and then I'm gonna pull the middle a little less so I want my frame to be bigger than my window I'm gonna switch to the groovy browse tool and find glass and this is what's amazing see how I do it on this one but these components are happening as well that's my favorite part of using components I'm gonna paint the inside of my window notice I can see through it because I used glass and then I'm gonna go down and find some wood and I'm gonna pick a cool wood color to put around the outside of my window. You can paint the little insides just to make it a little bit more perfect um, using the orbit, but I'm pushing in the scroll wheel so I can see those corners uh, quickly. That is an awesome technique to use. But that, my friends, is how you make a wall super simple, super quick using components and some pretty awesome techniques. Make sure you hit save when you're done. Give me a screenshot of your finished wall and uh, add any questions or comments you might have. Thank you for watching. Please, if you get a chance, like, comment, and subscribe.